Hello friends, welcome back and if you are new to our channel, thank you for stopping by. Today I will be showing you a beautiful crochet mosaic pattern and for this pattern I will be using my off-white yarn and two shades of yellow and two shades of blue. So let us start off with the magic ring. So here my magic ring is ready. Now let us chain three which will be counted as one double crochet after that i work one double crochet followed by another so we have two double crochet plus a chain of three that makes three double crochet now let us chain three once that is done i am going to work another set of three double crochet into the magic ring So here I am working my second set of three double crochet. It's done. Now let us chain three. One, two, and three. And work another set of three double crochet into the magic ring. Now if you find the ring too large, uh, pull the tail of the magic ring slowly. Then the ring will get uh, smaller and it will be easier to work so my third batch of three double crochet is done let us chain three and work the last set of three double crochet that's the first one followed by the second double crochet and the third double crochet so my four batches of double crochets are done now what we are going to do is i'm going to chain three one two and three and slip stitch into the into the topmost chain of the very first chain of three so this completes our very first round so here my slip stitch is done now let's pull the tail of the magic ring so that we get a neat little finish now what we are going to do is i am going to slip two chain spaces so that I reach the corner space where we are going to start off with the next round so this is the way we slip stitch another one to be done so I am right there in the corner where I am going to work a chain of three which will be counted as one double crochet now once that is done I am going to work two number of double crochet into the same space So two double crochet plus the first chain of three makes three double crochet. Now as I am working the corner I am going to chain three. After that we are going to work three number of double crochet into the same space. So that makes our very first double sorry very first corner. Now once that is done I am going to chain two and hop into the second corner where i am working three double crochet let's make a chain of three and work three double crochet again into the same space so our second corner is also ready now let us again chain two and hop into the next corner to work three double crochet chain three three double crochet so in this manner we are going to work our corners and i'm going to catch up with you once i reach the starting point so here three double crochet done after that a chain of three is also done and now i am working my double crochets two double crochets already complete this is the third one Now here I am working my final corner already three number of double crochet done after that chain of three is also complete and now I am working my double crochets this is the last one once that's complete all our four corners are done now I chain two and I am going to slip stitch into the topmost chain of the very first chain of three 
so this completes our second round now after the slip stitch is done i'm going to chain one so as to secure the yarn and then i am going to snip it off now this is how it looks and i have decided to use my lighter yellow and with a slip knot we are going to start off now please watch carefully actually in this particular piece i have used different colors but here i will be using just two shades of yellow and two shades of blue we can start off from any of the corner spaces and what i'm going to do here is i'm working a standing double crochet this is how it is done if you are not comfortable with it you can just start off with a chain of three so that's my double crochet the first one the corners will always be uh, the same for all the rounds so that's my second double crochet followed by the third double crochet once that is done I chain two and I am going to hop into the middle portion first I do one double crochet after that the second double crochet the second stitch is going to be a triple crochet and that we are going to do a front post double crochet that is around the second stitch of the row below it so simply we are going to work the triple crochet so that's it now the third stitch is going to be a double crochet right at the chain two space now let us chain two and go right into the corner point where we will be working three double crochet chain three three double crochet the corners are always the same in each and every row so three double crochet done let us chain three and work another set of three double crochet into the corner space so my three double crochet is almost done this is the last one once that is done let us chain two and then we will work one double crochet into the chain two space that's my double crochet after that we are going to work a triple crochet so we wind the yarn twice around the hook and we will be coming right down below the chain two space and we will be passing the hook around the second stitch that is we are working our front post and then this is how it is worked now into the chain two space we work another double crochet so this is how it is to be worked now let's chain two and hop into the corner to work our three number of double crochet chain three three double crochet this is what we have to do in this particular round let's chain three and work another set of three double crochet into the corner space now this is how it looks now let us chain two again one two and into the chain two space first i'm going to work one double crochet now wind the yarn twice so we'll be working a triple crochet around the second stitch and then here this is how a triple crochet is worked and after that we work one double crochet now let us chain two again and hop into the corner to work three double crochet chain three three double crochet So here my corner is almost complete and now one more side left to work so I just worked chain of two and I'm working my first double crochet then we are going to work a triple crochet around the second stitch and this is a triple crochet and we are working the front post so that is done and the third stitch is going to be a normal double crochet that is into the chain two space now let us chain two and hop into the corner because only half of the corner is worked 
we must work three double crochet more to it one that's the first double crochet followed by the second and the third double crochet once the three double crochets are done let us chain three because that too needs to be done and now we are going to slip stitch into the very first chain that was the standing double crochet so our third round is complete this is how it looks now i have planned to use use each color yarn for two rounds and here i need to reach to that chain two space so i here i am slipping two stitch and here i have reached the chain two space where i'm going to work a chain of three which will be counted as one double crochet once that is done now we need to work a triple crochet and it is going to be a front post around the second stitch here it is yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through all just that one step we have to work extra after that the third stitch is going to be a simple double crochet once that is done let us chain two and hop into the chain two space and work one double crochet then we need to work a triple crochet so we wind the yarn twice and then working the front post around the second stitch so that's done it's just that we have to do the double crochet but one step extra as we have winded the yarn now let us chain two and hop into the corner which is again simple three double crochet chain three three double crochet Here I'm working my corner, chain 3 is done. Now another set of 3 double crochet to be worked into the same corner space. So let us work again, chain 2, after that into the chain 2 space, I'm going to work 1 double crochet, after that a triple crochet, wind the yarn twice and then around the second stitch we work the front post. Yarn over, pull through 2, yarn over, pull through 2, yarn over, pull through 2 three times we have to do after that the third stitch is going to be a simple double crochet after that let us chain two and again hop into the chain two space working one double crochet and then a triple crochet which has to be worked around the second stitch yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two in three steps we complete the stitch after that it's a double crochet now let us chain Two and hop into the corner working three double crochet chain three three double crochet now the pattern is going to be similar in all the rounds just the number of uh, points where we need to work the front post is going to increase other than that each and everything is same so with the yellow yarn i am working my second round i'm almost at the end i just work a chain of two and i'll be working my final corner which is going to be three double crochet that's the second followed by the third three double crochet chain three one two three and again three double crochet into the corner space so that is done now let us chain two and slip stitch into the very first chain of three into the topmost chain so this particular round is done chain one to secure the work because I'm going to snip it off now if you wish to work with the same yarn you may continue but but I have decided to use this blue one this is the lighter one and here I'm ready with the slip knot and we can start off at any of the corners it's going to be a standing double crochet again so let us wind the yarn around the hook into the chain three space and simply we are going to work one double crochet so my standing first double crochet is done if you are not comfortable with it you can work a chain of three it's all the same so my three double crochet into the chain three space is done after that let us chain two and hop into the chain two space to work the first double crochet 
after that i'm going to work a triple crochet and it is going to be around the second stitch this is the front post yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two three times we have to do after that the third one third stitch is a double crochet again so it has to be on the chain two uh, on the chain two space after that let us chain two and again hop into the next gap to work our first double crochet now and now we are going to work a triple crochet and it has to be around the second stitch so this time it is around the front post a front post around the front post just below it and the third stitch is a double crochet again so let us chain two and from this round I am working one double crochet and now it's going to be a triple triple crochet that's the front post around the second stitch so the front post is done now the third stitch is a double crochet so from this particular round we have worked one front post around the front post of the lower round now chain two and we are going to work a corner which is going to be three double crochet chain three three double crochet so my uh, corner is done now let us chain two and this time let us start off with one double crochet into the chain two space the second one is going to be a triple crochet so i have wound the yarn twice yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two two three times after that it's going to be a double crochet now let us chain two and watch please watch this part carefully i am working my first double crochet into the chain two space i wind the yarn and the hook goes around the front post of the lower row so that is done this is the round where we first worked the front post around the front post of the previous round and so that gives a beautiful mosaic effect to the granny square pattern i have just worked a double crochet now i am working around the second stitch so it has to be the front post so that's done now the third stitch is a simple double crochet now let us chain two and hop into the corner to work three double crochet chain three three double crochet So here my corner is complete right now this is how it looks i have started working with my light blue yarn this is i'm working the first round and i am almost at the end so let us work the front post around the second stitch yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and again yarn over pull through two so that completes our second stitch after that is going to be a double crochet the simple one let us chain two and now we are going to complete this corner because only half of the corner is done let us hop into the uh, corner space and work three double crochet as the first one followed by the second double crochet and the third double crochet once that is done let us chain three one two and three and now what we are going to do is we are going to slip stitch into the very first chain so this particular round is done now i am going to skip two chain spaces so as to reach the um, reach the chain two space so this is how we skip chains actually i need to reach to that point where i will be starting off again so let us chain three which will be counted as one double crochet after that we need to work 
a triple crochet that has to be around the second stitch that's the front post and here yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two thrice if you do the stitch is done and after that it's a double crochet now let us chain two and hop into this next gap to work the first double crochet now it's going to be a triple crochet around the front post of the pre uh, of the lower round so i worked just above the front post of the previous round after that i worked a double crochet now uh, chain two and again i am working my double crochet after that a triple which has to be around the front post of the lower row or the lower round so that's complete after that one double crochet so this is how it is to be worked and the effect that the front post uh, gives is just wonderful now here the final one for this particular side I just worked one double crochet now I'm going to work a triple around the second stitch yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so that's done and finally one double crochet into the chain two space so that's done now let us chain two and hop into the corner space where I am going to work three double crochet chain three three double crochet so this is how it is to be work very simple and easy to remember you can use this pattern for making cushion covers baby blankets anything the main thing that is we can keep working as much as we like so this is the second round which i will be working with the same color yarn and here i have worked some more rounds with my deep yellow as well as now i have started working with my uh, deep blue color I was working just yes I was working in that blue portion after that I worked the deep yellow and now I am using the deep blue color I have actually worked three four rounds now this is the first round with my deep blue color it's a, a deeper shade one double crochet done now I will be working a triple around the second uh, stitch and here yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two that was the front post and now I'm working one double crochet once that is done let us chain two and slip stitch into the very first uh, chain actually for this what I did is I just worked three double crochet chain three three double crochet I didn't uh, leave my corner half done so that is why we just did a slip stitch now again I will be working a chain of three that will be counted as one double crochet so a chain of three is done let us work one double crochet which is followed by another double crochet and then I am going to work a chain of three this is also a process how we can work the corner this way we will get a complete corner earlier i had done an incomplete corner there too you can use this process so my first corner is done now i shall continue working again let us chain two and hop into the gap where i'm going to work my first double crochet after that wind the yarn twice and i will be working around the second stitch it is the front post yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two that's done now here I'm working one double crochet into the chain two space now let us chain two again and hop into the next gap to work the first double crochet after that is going to be a triple that is going to be around the front post which has already been worked in the lower round yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two now I'll work one double crochet into the chain space so that's done now let us chain two again and hop into the gap to work the first double crochet now winding of the yarn twice so as to work the triple so my front post is done and now again one double crochet into the chain two space so by now i think you all have understood that in each and every 
round the stitches that we use are always constant just that the number of gaps chain two gaps are increasing in each round and you can use this particular uh, mosaic granny square pattern for making baby blankets cushion covers cushion covers will also come out really good for this particular sample i have used uh, just two shades of yellow and two shades of blue you may use different colored yarns you may use solid colored yarns it is just up to you how you wish to use that now i am not going to continue further so i have already reached the end finally i work a chain of two and into the chain two space i work my double crochet after that winding the yarn twice and i'm going to work around the second stitch so as to work a triple so yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so my front post is done after that into the chain two space i worked my double crochet now let us chain two and then slip stitch into the very first uh, we can actually slip stitch into the topmost chain or we can just slip stitch like how I did into the gap between the uh, chain of three as well as one double crochet it is up to you you can just slip stitch here I snip off the yarn Let's use a tapestry needle to hide the loose ends. It is a beautiful, beautiful pattern. And the effect that it gives is just mind blowing. So my friends, to use this pattern, shown the pattern repeatedly in simple steps. Uh, so it should not be a problem. I hope you are going to use this for your future projects. If you have liked the video, do give a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family members. And if you are new to our channel, do consider subscribing. And stay tuned for more of interesting videos. So, till we meet again, it is bye-bye from all of us here at Plants, Crochet, Cooking and more. Bye-bye, be safe, be happy, bye.